Welcome to Sicily, the land of dramatic nature. The crossroads of ancient civilizations. The passion for traditional agriculture. Ben arrivati a Santa Gesa, che è un fio che fu fondato a fine del 1600. Come potete vedere nel nostro capitello, la villa fu costruita nel 1697. Abbiamo fatto sempre vino e voglio buono. che a Santa Teresa tanti anni fa, quando c'era il re di Spagna, in questo posto che ha preciso trovarono una statuetta. Era un periodo di grande assura, non giovia di tanto tempo. E un vedano che ha trovato disse, ma chi sei stato di Santa Teresa? Speriamo che Santa Teresa mi facesse trovare tantissima l'acqua. Allora pigliavo un baraglio, scavavo e per davvero trovavo una sorgiva l'acqua. Ah, che bello! Ora facciamo subito un puzzo e veniamo tutti a bevararmi. E a così, come punta la leggenda, che si fece un puzzo di Santa Teresa. Era l'epoca del 1600. Water is not something we take for granted here. In fact, we really work hard to save every single drop of it. This is the original well that has provided water to the vineyard since the 17th century. Since then, the well has been vital for the existence and the developments of the feudal Santa Teresa, and there's always been plenty of water here enough even to share with the neighbors, and this really made Santa Teresa a focal point for the local community. Welcome to the Palmento, which is the original winery of Santa Teresa, dating back over 100 years. Nobody can tell the story better than Massimo in true Sicilian language. Chi so Palmento? I ciccarelli venivano carragina, che è coffe, l'uomo ne scaricavano qua in questa pista, c'erano i persone, i pistatori, pistavano la regina perché si faceva un fossato. Un fossato significava fare fermentare la venazza assieme al musto, un musto bugliava, la venazza cenava sopra, a così la pigliavano e la potevano mettere sotto il torcio. Il torcio che si a gianca, a gianca significa perché schiacciavano a venazza piano piano, in maniera soffice. Un musto scorria se ne aveva le fosse, i potevano separarlo e fare la prima sprematura, la seconda sprematura e la terza sprematura. Quando poi finivano che volevano, avevano il colore che volevano, lo pigliavano e lo passavano nei vutti. Per metterlo nei vutti, si passavano i sicci e lo mettevano in uno scifetto. E mi avrebbe perché. Un vino lo scifetto finiva in una canaletta misa in capo a queste pietre, i pietre avevano una pennenza per cui il vino girava e a finire nella prima ut. La prima ut quando si ingia c'era un segnale, era già redore, e ne scia di dopo il vino. Allora subito il mascio vuttaro passava la canaletta nella ut seguente e a così sempre di seguito. Nell'annata buona e non succedeva spesso, si riesce a dire l'ultima avut, avut da buona crianza. Era una avut che nota che si faceva con l'ultima ragina da ricotta. Era molto zuccherina e faceva vini di alta gradazione. Vini che si potevano salvare due, tre, quattro anni ed era sempre un vino che si offriva quando venivano l'ospite importante. E poi ora vi conto una curiosità di questa respensa. Lo sapete che serviva da portiere da sopra? Qua era salvata la cosa più importante che c'era in tutta l'azienda, il vino, il frutto di un sacrificio di un anno di travaglio e di sorora. Un padrone esperto che dormiva da sopra, 
la notte, quando si, quando si sentite scrusci, il rumore, dice, eh, sta succedendo qualche cosa. Allora aveva un passaggio interno, non si faceva avvirare il nudo, ne si a luogo e aveva la soffedata lo para. E il nudo si poteva permettere di nascere nel litro di vino. Si sbigliò lo minnolito, con le stitti in alle rami, per una festa di raccami. At Santa Teresa we have this wonderful terra rossa. This is an extremely fertile and rich soil that provides all the nutriment to our vineyards. After the top layer soil there is a 5 cm of really hard limestone. Underneath that there is another layer of limestone that is very spongy and porous and really helps to retain the water that is vital for the water supply to our vineyard throughout the year. At Santa Teresa we have a perfect microclimate. We're about eight kilometers away from the sea, close enough to get all the benefits like the sea breeze that really blows through the vines and helps to keep the disease away, but far away enough to avoid all the possible problems like the salty water that could contaminate our water that provides nutriment to our vineyards. We're so fortunate here with the microclimate and the weather condition that we only need to do few treatments and we really use minimum copper and sulfur. And Santa Teresa is virtually organic and that's the reason why we decided to apply for the organic certification. And right now we're in the process of becoming certified organic. The only fertilizer we use at Santa Teresa is a natural fertilizer called Favino. This is a special bean and we sow the seeds around November and in March we mash the beans and we dig them into the ground and this really provides enough nutriment for our vineyards to grow. For pest control, we use a totally natural method called sexual confusion, which prevents bugs from reproducing. The male bugs are attracted in this trap that contains a female pheromone and once they're in there, they don't go out and look for females, therefore reproduction is minimal. At Santa Teresa, the distance between the rows is always 2.2 meters, while the distance between the single vines varies from 80 to 100 centimeters. This provides an average density of 4,500 vines per hectare or 5,000 vines per hectare. Our target is to produce only 1.5 kilo grapes per vine. If this production will be exceeded, we use crop thinning to reduce the production and bring it down to strictly 1.5 kilo grapes per vine. It is almost impossible to grow anything in Sicily without irrigation, and Santa Teresa makes no exception. In fact, all our vineyards are irrigated, and most of it is irrigated with under soil irrigation. This system reduces dramatically the amount of water we need to irrigate our vines, and reduces the amount of water that is wasted through evaporation. We continuously work the topsoil mechanically in order to keep it fine and soft which creates a perfect insulation and prevents the heat from getting deep into the soil, which would cause severe dehydration of the soil itself. Also, the canopy management is extremely important, as the leaves have to protect the grapes from becoming sunburned. At Santa Teresa, we believe in retaining all the typicity, not only of the local area, but the estate itself. This is the reason why the majority of our vines are filled grafted with shoots grown exclusively on our own estates. The field grafting is done from the end of August through the whole month of September. The shoots are grafted on American rootstock which were planted in mid-February of the same year. The leaves then are wrapped around the shoot to provide protection from direct sunlight. This is a Nero Davola vineyard that provides the grapes for the production of our Nivro. Nero Davola is the finest red grapes of Sicily and it grows extremely well in the Vittoria area. It is naturally a very gregarious grape variety and we really have to work hard to keep the production to 1.5 kilo grapes that will provide the quality for the production of our beautiful wines. Nero Davola ripens 
in the middle of September and is absolutely critical to pick it at the right time, otherwise it will develop a very rustic cart that it will not really be nice in our wines. Right now the Nero Davola is almost ready. You can see that it's ripened really to perfection and it's going to be another two weeks before the grapes are ready to be picked. <laughs> We're now in our Cabernet Sauvignon vineyards. Cabernet Sauvignon was introduced in Sicily about 15 years ago. It's a great variety that ripens last and we normally pick the Cabernet Sauvignon around the beginning of October. Cabernet Sauvignon blends extremely well with our Nero Davola. Here you can see a typical bunch of Cabernet Sauvignon and is a very small, very blue and really grows extremely well in this microclimate and weather conditions. We're now in our Frappato vineyard. Frappato is a very important grape variety for us because it's indigenous to this area, to the Vittoria area. Frappato is the grape variety that goes into the blend of the Cerasuolo di Vittoria together with the Nero Davola and provides finesse and elegance to the wine. Frappato is a very difficult grape variety to grow because it has a thin skin and large berries. The thin skin would tend to break if it's not grown to perfection. We currently source our Grillo grapes for our Rina Yanka white wine from the Marsala area. We are right now in our first vineyard of Grillo that we planted two years ago. As you can see, we already have a very good production, but only next year this vineyard will be in full production. We believe that Grillo is one of the finest white grape varieties of Sicily and it produces some phenomenal white wines. We only grow the very rare variety called Ton de Blea that is only produced in the Vittoria area and is of fantastic quality. Olives are equal to wine in importance to the local economy and are a prominent part of the landscape, heritage and food culture here in Sicily. The olive harvest is in November when all the olives are carefully hand-picked at the beginning of their variation, then carefully selected and pressed the same day. We make only extra virgin olive oil from the first pressing, which is left to decant naturally by gravity. We believe the great wine is made in the vineyard. Here at the winery, we simply preserve what Mother Nature has given us by making the wine with as little intervention as possible. This is how the grapes arrive at the winery in these small containers in order to avoid any pressing of the grapes during transportation. The first step is to distend the grapes and very carefully crush them. The wine goes into this simple fermenter which allows maximum skin contact. During the fermentation, which is carried out at controlled temperature, we do do the alastage and remontage depending on taste and vintage. We leave the wine in contact with the skin long enough to extract the optimum color and tannins, being incredibly careful not to over extract the grapes, thereby avoiding bitter tannins. The skins are then softly pressed using this pneumatic presses. Welcome to our Barricaia, where we carefully age our Nivuro and Avulisi. This is a very important stage of our production, which matures the wines to perfection before going into bottle. <laughs> We at Santa Teresa strongly believe that great wine is made in the vineyard. From the vineyard to the table, we try to ensure that our goal of producing the perfect expression of Sicily in our wines is achieved. Each of the wines we produce at Santa Teresa reflects the terroir and the character of the estate. In our first year of production, we started with just one wine. 
over a period of four years, we've added three other wines to the portfolio, slowly but surely, building on what we've achieved in the vineyards. Rinayanga è l'unico vino bianco che abbiamo a Santa Cesa. Figlio il nome e colore della sua terra. È fatto da nostro grillo e da pionier che è la regina che arriva ora. Rinayanka, meaning white sand in Sicilian, is a white wine we first made in 2006. It is a blend of indigenous grillo and French viognier and we found the perfect blend to be 30% of viognier and 70% grillo. The two grape varieties are vinified separately. In each case, fermentation takes place at around 18 degrees Celsius for about 10 days with no malolactic fermentation taking place in order to preserve the acidity. The two wines are blended together, after which we take 50% of the wine and put it in aged oak barriques for about three months. We then keep both the oak and un-oak wines at cold temperature on their fine leaves until the end of January, during which time they are stirred almost continuously. Finally, we blend the two wines together. Rina Yanka is straw yellow in color. It has a lovely bouquet of tropical fruit like pineapple and mango with a very nice touch of vanilla. The palate has the perfect combination of soft fruit and citrus acidity, resulting in a beautifully balanced wine. Urina Yanka is a vino bianco molto gradevole. Va bene con un pisce, pisce azzurro, amaro, sgombro, ma soprattutto pignage e capacità che esatte. Cerasuolo is the wine we couldn't possibly miss in our range, as it is the very typical wine of Vittoria. Cerasuolo is one of the first DOC wines of Sicily and from 2005 has been given the DOCG status. With Cerasuolo di Vittoria, we are concentrating again on indigenous grape varieties, Nero Davola and Frappato. Our Cerasuolo di Vittoria is now in its second year of production. The blend is 60% Nero Davola, which is picked by hand in the middle of September, and 40% of Frappato picked towards the end of September. We vinify the two grape varieties separately, and after the malolactic fermentation, we blend the two wines together. We use no oak aging with the Cerasuolo. The Frappato adds elegance and finesse to the Nero Davola, resulting in a less powerful wine, which is incredibly approachable and easy drinking. Cerasuolo di Vittoria has a lovely ruby red color. The bouquet of Cerasuolo reminds me of red summer fruit. On the palate is not what most people expect from Sicilian wines. This wine is very elegant, extremely soft and easy drinking. This is vino della nostra terra. È un vino che piace berlo con carne arrosto, con vitello arrostuto, casa usizza, ma soprattutto a Niagia ne piace offrirlo fresco e copisci. Well, next time you have a tuna steak, try it with a chilled Cerasuolo di Vittoria and you really will enjoy the tuna and the Cerasuolo together. This è onivoro, è il primo vino che facciamo a Santa Gesa nel 2001. This wine is made from a blend of Nero Davola and Cabernet Sauvignon, where the Nero Davola is about 70% while the Cabernet Sauvignon is 30% of the blend. The two varieties are harvested at different times as they ripen at different rates. All of the grapes are harvested meticulously by hand, the Nero Davola in mid-September and the Cabernet Sauvignon towards the end of September, beginning of October. We want to do whatever we can to ensure the finished wine is fresh, lively and full of fruit. We want to avoid the soupy reds which this climate can sometimes produce if not very carefully managed. Therefore, maceration on the skin is limited to a very short period in order to avoid any extraction of bitter tannins and retain as much freshness as possible. We put the wine in American oak barriques where malolactic fermentation takes place. As you can see, the color is a wonderful deep purple. 
The bouquet is incredibly intense and I detect spices and black pepper. On the palate, Nibiru is a very powerful wine, but yet soft. And I get dark berry fruits with a long, complex finish. Sicilia è un vino che piace con la pasta con capoliato, ma è un vino che va benissimo con formaggi, eh, salumi, carne arrosto, soprattutto. Questa è la Volise, è un vino più importante che abbiamo, perché e viene fatto con le uve migliori, selezionate, una per una, raccolte a mano, è una produzione limitata. Avolise significa che viene riavola. Quando questa regina arrivava nelle nostre zone, era sconosciuta, se ci aveva a dare un nome, veniva da, da, da un paese di avola. E proprio, siccome era molto nivora, ci deve solo un nome, Nero Ravola. We challenge ourselves to make the quintessential Nero Davola, a wine which is the very essence of Sicily's noble grape and which can stand shoulder to shoulder with the fine wines around the world. So Avulisi is only from the very, very best Nero Davola grapes that Santa Teresa has to offer. Made on a small scale, only 25,000 bottles are currently produced and this will never significantly increase as we really want to focus on quality rather than quantity. We take enormous care in the harvest, picking only when the grapes are perfectly ripe. Malolactic fermentation is carried out in barriques, after which the wine is aged in French oak barriques for at least 12 months until the wine becomes perfectly integrated. The color is extremely intense. On the nose, I can detect an incredible aroma, a lot of wild berries, black fruit, black pepper, and a lot of spices. Extremely interesting and very, very intriguing. The palate is rich and full with soft, well-structured soft tannins. There is a fantastic backbone of berries and spices on the palate with a very long, extremely complex finish. La volisi si vive buono soprattutto che che cavatello con sugo di maiale. Ma va, va benissimo pure con formaggi, pecorino, cacio cavallo, carne arrostute, coniglio. E tutti e tutto mangiare non ci serve un vino con queste caratteristiche di abbondanza. We have a very limited production of extra virgin olive oil. In fact, we only produce a total of 6,000 half bottles. The oil is produced exclusively with the Tonda Blair olive variety produced on our own estate. Thank you for visiting us at Santa Teresa, but now we have to go back to work. E ora, caro compare, baciamo le mani.